The Erasmus scheme is going bankrupt. A budget meeting set in the next couple of weeks will decide the fate of thousands of students and institutions across the EU. Since 25 years, young Europeans have relied on the financial support of the program to study abroad. Despite being praised as one of the biggest and most successful integration programs, students could see their abroad experiences taken away. It allows us to travel abroad and to discover other ways of studying in other country. New? <laughs> I think, um, yeah, it's, it allowed me to come uh, study in London, something I could never have done uh, before Erasmus because it's really expensive. And I'm getting a phone from Erasmus that allows me to pay my uh, accommodation, another thing I couldn't have done without it. Student representatives across the country are voicing the concerns regarding the recent funding cuts. I mean, I was, I was quite sad to hear that they'd cut funding to the Erasmus project because for many people it's, it could be their first opportunity to, to actually get some abroad experience. I mean, people go on holiday all the time, but I think it's, it's completely different to go and study somewhere because you have to apply yourself in a completely different way. For me, Erasmus was actually quite an attraction to university. And Ultimately, um, cutting to funding of Erasmus isn't the end of students' opportunities to go and study abroad. Um, for instance, if you do an internship with a company, they may, they may well have an opportunity for you to go and work in, a, in another branch of their office um, in another country, which I think is a harder opportunity to find, but no less valuable. I think there are ways and means to get around it. One of the pillars of the programme is exploring other cultures. Um, from my Erasmus experience, I think personally the greatest benefit was meeting so many people from different cultures, being able to experience all their um, ways of life, how everyone else exp uh, saw like the world and also being in Barcelona, living the Barcelona culture, I understood the culture a lot more, especially with the Catalans. Uh, for me the most important I have learned during my Erasmus, it was a cultural uh, uh, experience. It was, uh, of course I improved my English, I improved my I learned uh, quite different things that I got there at my university, but uh, yeah, the most important for me was I met a lot of uh, foreign people from all Europe. Uh, I, how to say, it's, uh, for me it's make Europe. While funding cuts may not destroy all opportunities for European exchange, without an umbrella organization this will become less accessible. Although there are national agencies in each uh, European Union country and outside of the European Union um, who could possibly be given the reins to take over the project, um, it kind of defeats the object from my point of view, from the point of view of ESN UK, in that Erasmus it's, and the European Integration Project as a whole are all about um, cooperation at the international level. And that's why it's critical that the funding remains at the international level. Especially for poorer students, the funding cuts can be detrimental. The program is um, clearly one of the most successful examples of um, a project in the European integration uh, process. Um, and the loss of funding would truly be a travesty um, for especially the poorer students. Um, Erasmus is meant to be a project for everybody. And um, unfortunately, if the funding gets taken away, that means that possibly 60-70% of the population is suddenly has the opportunity of Erasmus taken away from them. With thousands of students depending on the Erasmus grants, we're eagerly awaiting a decision from the European Union to save the Erasmus programme.